am I required to have all of my rooms in working rentable condition? No. Okay. So for the record, I actually really appreciate all my inspectors. Okay. They bring us up to a level that we don't know that we need to be at because their focus is health and safety and their focus is to make sure that we're at a certain level. Okay. Whether it's a Wyndham inspector, whether it's a KW Elite inspector, whether it's a city inspector, I appreciate and I honor each of them. But they drive me crazy sometimes, especially the city right now. I have, I have to kind of break into this, okay? Because we're going through a very interesting time right now with the city. You see, the city has decided to not renew our operating license for the hotel. That's the whole purpose of the YouTube channel, to show you what we're doing, to get back on track, to have that license, right? The annex building, um, the, the 28plex, in order for us to change the demographic of the previous guests, the, the whole goal that the city says they have for this side of town, right? In order to make sure we don't get the same troublesome guests, the, we, we want higher paying guests, we have to be able to rent those rooms sooner rather than later. We want to rent them during the inflow of college students, right? We want to try to attract a certain group of people. Um, again, we'll rent to anybody. That's fine as long as you qualify um, and you meet the bare minimum of our property manager standards. However, comma, you have a market segment and we're trying to change that market segment. That is the goal. Right now, we're having a bit of a frustrating issue because I was just told the city, well, not the city, okay, so the group of people that control the city from behind closed doors, the department heads, right, they feel like my annex is not up to the bare minimum standards of building and safety, okay? That's really frustrating to me. Um, and I'll explain why. Dealing with the city. Dealing with the city. So if you don't already know, I'm Paul with the Ugly Motel. I'm renovating an Ugly Motel in Lincoln, Nebraska. And over the last year, I have sacrificed quite a bit of my wealth, all of my time, all of the time that I normally would be spending with my kids, my, my wife, my family, um, outside of Lincoln. I live in St. Louis. We're trying to relocate um, closer to our properties in Lincoln. Um, we'll see how that goes. But so I, I've sacrificed my, my health, my wealth, my time to get to an end point. I sacrificed it all so that way we could improve this property. I mean, the value went up regardless because of inflation and what have you. I, 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 I lucked out. I could sell it now at a very great profit. But I don't like the idea of leaving it undone, right? I'm sure most of you guys are the same way. If you don't at least, be, if you don't at least meet the goal, um, you'll feel frustrated for the rest of your life. Um, so I feel like right now I'm being deprived of life, liberty, and happiness. I'm, I'm being deprived of, of my life itself, which again, it's a choice. I'm choosing to invest my time in this property. Um, I get that, but there should be an end point. Um, the city recently met and they decided that the building is not up to standards. I said, I need a list of what is wrong so I can fix it. Again, the requirement is that all the rooms need to be ready to go. The requirement is that the rooms that I'm renting are operational. I'm not even asking for the 110 units in the hotel right now. I just want the 28 apartments in the annex, right? That's, that's all I need. And if there's an issue with one, I want to fix it because that's what you do. You, if there's a problem, you fix it, you know? Um, so Monday, we're going to be doing uh, a walkthrough. We'll be getting a list of what we need to fix. The frustrating thing I had um, from the director, not the guy you just saw, but the director of building and safety, um, the frustrating thing is, is he said, 
even if you pass everything on the annex inspection, we still might not let you open. Okay, so that brings me back to equality, okay? Um, I should be set at the same standards as everybody else. Is, am I required to have every room operational? No. I want them all operational. And if there's an issue with the room, I'm more than happy to put it as unoperational until it's ready to be rented. But for that building back there, I, I have to pay taxes. In fact, I'm behind on my taxes uh, for property taxes. They, they doubled my property taxes the same year they said that this building was not good, right? They doubled it to like four million or six million or something crazy. Um, so I, I'm having to still pay to operate this building, operate a business, um, which basically is just a giant sinkhole of money at this point, if I have no opportunity or chance to open it up. Um, if it's all at the discretion of Chad or a group of people that, again, it's not where they would live, well, guess what? I mean, you know, we all can't afford $100,000 salaried houses. We can't all get these great big things. Some of us are content um, living in an apartment. Some of us are content slowly upgrading our situation, right? Um, I tell you what, my annex building is a lot nicer than a lot of other properties I've seen around Lincoln. Um, definitely a lot nicer than some of the hotels out by the airport. Um, I've had several people even tell me that, you know, they've written off the hotels by the airport. I want my hotel to be above that. I want to keep climbing the ladder. I can't get there if I have no chance of opening. If there's somebody out there that's deciding that I don't have an equal say as every other apartment building or I don't have an equal right to uh, to my business. Um, so the idea that even if everything comes back correct, that I can't open is frustrating. I think that if they give me a hit list, I should fix that hit list and I should correct those issues and then I should open that portion of the building. And then as we wanna open up more, we should be allowed to open up more and only rent out the rooms that are perfect. The rooms that meet all building and safety standards. I 100% agree. We want to make sure everything is great. Um, and here's another thing. Remember, here's here's what city standards should be. It should be like way down here, right? And then this, this is bare minimum hab, hab, uh, habitability, right? And then above that is going to be the property manager. And then there should be mine, you know. And I'm in a weird situation because I had to adjust where I was at when I, when I bought the property. And I had to change my game plan. And there's a whole video on that. Don't worry about that. Um, this is just a vent about you know, dealing with the city. Um, I don't think that we should have an unelected council of bureaucrats deem what they feel a business should have in order to be able to operate. I feel like a business should be able to risk their own money, their own time. They should be able to take on that risk and no government worker should be able to say, we don't feel like it's good enough. Again, safety is one thing. Feeling that it's not pretty enough, feeling that it just doesn't feel right, feeling that you have a fear that there might be crime in the future, that should have zero play in whether or not I'm allowed to open the business. Again, if you guys have an issue with with a, with a criminal um, situation, or if, if in the past you feel like that people used to come here to party or whatever else, arrest the bad guys, arrest the ones that are partying. Don't arrest the freaking business owner that's struggling to put food on the table. You know, arrest the person who's breaking whatever law is that, that that's wrong. You know, the person smoking pot, arrest the pothead. You know, I don't care. Um, again, if they're breaking the law, that should be on the person who's breaking the law, not trying to punish the business owner. Um, and definitely not trying to punish the business owner because you feel like in the future something bad could happen. Um, I shouldn't have to show my finances to the city. It shouldn't matter. My finances go to my banker because my banker gives me money. Has the city given me any money? No, they take my money, um, but they don't give me money. So they should have no say on my finances. They should have no say on their feelings should not matter. 
except for bare minimum health and safety, uh, bare minimum, yeah, building safety. That, that That's it. And again, bug people. Yeah, I get it. Um, okay, so there's a rant for you. I have a really positive video. Again, usually this channel is very much about positive stuff. If you want to support us, buy a t-shirt, theuglymotel.com. I'm not going to lie, I'm stressed out with finances right now. So if you want to go to theuglymotel.com and buy a t-shirt, more power to you. Um, it supports the channel. It supports the, the whole endeavor. Um, please like and subscribe. We're really close to 1,000. There's more income for you since everybody wants to know my income. I will do a video later on income, by the way. So anyhow, Monday's the inspection, and um, I will have a checklist of what I need to get fixed. And then we'll see. Again, I'm, I'm going to be 100% happy washing my hands of this if they tell me the annex is, you know, without fault, but they have chosen that they feel like we should not open. If they feel like we should not open and we don't have any fault uh, in the annex, I'm sure we can find fault in the hotel. It's a massive freaking complex. There's, there's fault. But then, then, then I will have put forth my level best um, you know, I'll put the thing on the market, whatever. Uh, somebody else could dedicate eight years of their life trying to make this side of town better, make this property better. Um, again, I, I'm sure I made mistakes along the way. <coughs> I'm sure, uh, I'm sure there's better business plans. There's a huge, uh, there's a steep learning curve when you go from residential to, to commercial. Um, but let somebody else have that. I mean, that's fine. I'll sell it. I'll walk away just fine. I'll take one of my job offers or whatever. And whatever. But in the meantime, I'm going to make sure that the annex is perfect. 100% perfect before the inspection Monday. Make sure there's nothing they can give me a fault for. I mean, sure. We'll see. I'll post it either way. So, most transparent guy ever. I'll show you my faults. Hopefully you can learn from them. Hopefully this will be like a cool documentary for whoever buys it next. They'll be like, oh, that's what we don't do. Like and subscribe.